hi guys to the last day to apply for the it so that made me make this video so in this video we'll compare all the it's because today is the 31st of january and last day to apply for the it in case one of them or two of them might change their uh, last date so you have to check on their site but today as far as i know it's supposed to be the last day so tomorrow so 31st is the last day we have so this call us for the how good the it is also in this video we'll check out the cutoff fees average package everything of the it so that you understand and take an informed decision whether to go for it or not yeah so jan end is always the last day to apply so we have time for that so you can think of that applying for that gdp will be probably in the month of march yeah for the date so go go, go to the link ctking.com slash it i've given the process everything about each of the it whether engineers can apply non non they can apply everything is given there so please check this out on the link here for you to understand so it bombay let's talk about this this page is this table is must have a screenshot like everything about it is here whether they accept non engineers what is the roi what is the average salary everything will find here on this link so starting with the top college it bombay IIT Bombay general category cut of 98.5, OBC 94, SC 83. Now this is an estimate cut off. So, so if you have to apply now for the college 98.5. So if you are in that range 99, 98.3 also will be thought difficult. 98.5 plus you can easily apply for that. OBC 94, 95, SC 85, ST 75. Yeah, this round off as per your requirement. See, cut off is going to change every year. The, the, this time because number of applicants are less the cutoff might go down also so general category 99 obc 95 85 75 would be my a gig estimate number it delhi 97 for general category 93 87 73 and this is the average salary of the college yeah it kharagpur 94 90 83 75 IIT Madras 96, 91, 82, 74. See, you might feel how can IIT Delhi cutoff is more here because number of applicants might be. See, cutoff is decided by the number of people showing interest. If demand supply karo, if demand is more, supply become less. The cutoff will go high. If the demand is less, cutoff will go down. Okay, IIT Kanpur 73, IIT Rudki 74 for the category. Open wise, this is the cutoff here. You can see the cutoff here. So, anybody above 95 have a very good chance to get call from almost all of them and 95 percentile pay you are also getting the new IMS call and that's where the question come how good are the new IMS as compared to this which I am covering up now in this thing so this video is mainly talking about the cutoff for each of the IITs to make you understand so we can compare here IITs their fees ROI everything in the list here so this is the table which I made one table which cover up everything who is eligible this and that so today's main focus is going to be the average salary now i am abc average salary is touching 25 lakh plus yeah but if i look at the iit bombay average is 20.8 but fees is only 8.8 .8. now if you want me to compare i can easily compare iit bombay with i am lucknow so i'm just comparing with which i'm going to compare i am lucknow I am Indore, I am Koyikot. So easily we can compare IIT Bombay and IIT Delhi. Average salary is 18.5 for IIT Delhi. But fees is 9.6. So ROI's point of view, they are much better than IITs. But of course, we have to look at the brand name also. So if I compare the brand name, so they are at par. So I will count them at par with IIMs, Lucknow, Indore, Koyikot. If I go down the value chain, I, we, we have IIT Kharagpur with average salary 17, IIT Madras with average salary 12, yeah, IIT Madras will look at afterwards. So if I look at 17.4 lakh a package here, now this IIT Kharagpur, I can easily compare with I am Shillong and I am Trichy because their average is also touching around 18, 17, 16 kya jo baju hai, yeah. If I also compare with the non-IITs, non-IIT IIMs, IIT Bombay is ranked anywhere as close to IFT, XLRI, SPGen, all these colleges. Of course, fees average is le less than them, but because of the ROE factor, 
this is this can rub shoulder with any of them any day uh, jbims all right now if, if i further go down, down the chain iit iit madras iit kanpur iit rurki dhanbad now if, if i leave dhanbad outside iit madras kanpur and rurki all of them are at par with any of the new ims or baby ims Okay. Now this is what I want from you. Is is IIT good or I am good? This you have to tell me. Of course, sir. Please don't compare any college with ABC. ABC are compare करके फायदा ही नहीं. But I want that answer from you. I am Lucknow, Koyikod, Indore. Visa is IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay. And new IIMs are baby IIMs versus IIT Madras. IIT Kanpur, IIT Roorkee. Where you place them? I will bet on IIT majorly because the uh, ROI thing. All of them have a very good ROI. But of course, if you go by the name, no one can beat IIM ka brand name. So brand name wise, of course, IIM will be there. But ROI wise, IIT Bombay is there right on the top next to them. Yeah. So if you want to say better or easy, but at least they are comparable for sure. All the best.